Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be speaking about how to easily create YouTube videos using just AI software. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Now remember, stick around to the end because it's also going to be a dad joke. All right guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now did you know that this particular video was 100% completely created by AI? Now, of course, I just downloaded one a clip of me waving and then put that into the software but the whole lot including the script was written by ai now let's have a quick look at what this video is like we're not going to go too long into it but i'll just give you a quick run through just so you can see what we're talking about hey guys henry here from product creation formula in this video i'll get past that part because i wrote that part once i get past there I'll go to where it started to actually do its own thing. There we go. All right, let's have a look here. In order to start making money online, you need to be aware of the different types of products you can sell and the best way to promote these products. The easiest way to do this is to buy a private label rights ebook, which gives you the right to sell the product as your own. These products can be sold through ClickBank or other websites. Now what I've done there, I also I found the front page of ClickBank and I added this to the program as well. So let's go and have a look at the various sites I used to create this. All right, now we're here at a place called Copy AI. Now I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. And if you join up, you'll be given, and even if you start up as a free member, you'll be given 100 credits to start off with, which is pretty good considering I've only used three credits to create that, which was really good. Okay, so when I first start up, is over here you got here your first wizard draft. Now what I did, this is the one I actually created using Copy AI. Now what I'm wanting to do here is jump into a whole first draft of your blog in five minutes. All we need is your title and topic. And that's exactly what I did right here. And I'm just gonna go here to first draft. I'm gonna click on that and you'll see what I'm talking about here. All I did was I added the topic of the name of the title. And then what I did was I added a whole bunch of keywords here and I wanted it to be in a friendly tone. So that's the one I chose. You can actually choose from various tones you can use, but I wanted it friendly. So that's what I did. And then I created my first draft and this is what it came up with all of these points. And I was able to add all of these points copy and paste them. What I did was I actually added, a, I think I later on added a couple of extra points down here, but all I did was I copied this and put that straight into a document somewhere. And that was what I had. Now I could also add these extra here things here if I wanted to. Now be aware there is one slight downside to this that when I copy over the top of this, I can't exactly copy that. If I go, can if I try to go right click, it won't. Well, I can copy it, but it won't put it into a Word document. Let me just show you for one second. Bring up a fresh one here. Bear with me one second while I bring up a brand new one right here. I'll drag it across, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm just going to go try and cop paste it right there. Let's have a look at what it gave me. Oh, it did let me do it that time. But let's have a look at this one. See if it'll let me do this one. Right click copy. It didn't let me do it last time I did this. So maybe they listened to what I my, my complaint the other day. They asked me what I thought. And I made a little complaint about not being able to copy it. Oh, there you go. Even though I copied this one. I couldn't copy any more but the first one. So I literally, there we go, they didn't listen to what I said. Okay, so while PLI ebooks are popular, 
or PLR ebooks are popular. It's exactly the same stuff. So I can literally just delete all of the stuff from down here. Because that's that one. Now this here is definitely a different title. It says different things. It doesn't give me the option to copy it. So what I can do is just copy that. Try again and see how I go. See if it does it. Control V. No, it doesn't. Okay, so I couldn't copy it. That is the one complaint I have about this. Hoping that I could, but I just... All I did was I just dictated this into a Word document. And just copied this title. You can copy the titles. But once you've copied, once you've copied the titles, you can only really dictate this into a Word document, which is what I did. And that's how I came up with the content. So that was 100%... AI created then what I did is I went over to another platform and let's go and have a look at that okay now I am in the pro section of Descript now Descript is a really powerful platform now what you can do is you can actually if you have any videos of yourself or anything like that you can actually upload that onto Descript if you've got the the pro version and then you can teach the AI It'll take about three days, three or four days, and then it'll return back a overdub so as you can use that voice in future videos if you wish to. I had to do that a couple of times because I didn't like the voices that I used the first time. So I had to find one where I was really, really expressive. And that's the one I call Henry Excited. So by doing that, I was able to get the script, which is down here bring that up I was able to get this and as you can see I was able to add this to the software now what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project it's going to go new project click on that and then I'm going to just title this one how to start a new ebook or how, how to create a PLR ebook or how to edit a PLR ebook I'm going to call this one how to edit a PLR ebook 2. That will do. And what we have to do is hit create, and what it'll do is it'll open it up in a new tab or in a new page. I'm just going to expand that one up. This is part of the downloadable software you get. Then, as all we have to do right now is find the text that you want to use. Now, the text that I want to use is over here. I'm just going to grab that one. I'm just going to copy this and place this straight into this section right here once I've done that it will begin pasting everything in there and then all we have to do is choose a speaker now the one I'm going to be choosing to do is Henry excited and then what's going to happen is it's going to paste everything in here and it will then to begin the overdub of Henry excited which is the one that you would have heard in that video so I'm just going to pause the video while it's doing it. Now what it's going to do, it's going to go through and it's going to create the overdub for me. It sounds like it's already started doing that. So let's have a quick look and see if it has. I'm going to wait for one moment and see if it's finished. Oh no, here it is. It's still creating it now. There we are. It's creating everything for me. And we'll have a quick look once it's finished. Now this is incredibly intuitive. Now because I recognized the exact text from a previous audio, it just recreated everything the same with the same formatting it did before. Now what I had done in the previous formatting is if you see in this section just here, this is a line gap and I did this at 0.8 seconds. And in other words, when it reads it out, what it does is it reads it and then it formats it to 0 0.8. And that's, it. that's the length of gap between this line and this line just here. So allow me to give you a demonstration. Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we did you notice the gap between there and there? The reason I did that is so as it formats really well in the next bit of software we're going to be using. Now another thing we're going to need to do is I want to shrink this down. I want to actually make sure that it is using a faster clip speed. And to do that, all I have to do is highlight over the top of everything here. 
and I'm going to be making the clip speed 1.1 and then that will then shrink everything down to 1.1 and then what there is one little thing I want to do though at the top here or oh, the first two lines where it says hey Henry uh, hey guys Henry here from product creation formula you listen to how it sounds now hey guys Henry here from product creation formula hey guys Henry here from product creation formula now to fix that up I put a exclamation mark there and I, I'm gonna have to highlight over the top of these two sentences so as it recognizes it then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this and speed this up just a tiny bit so I'm just gonna go 1.02 sorry 1.2 I should say 1.20 and then I'm gonna hit enter and what that does is it speeds this up just a tiny bit and makes it sound far more natural you listen to this hey guys Henry here from product creation formula see how much better that sounds we can even speed that up just a tiny bit more if you wish to it still keeps the same tone and everything in it 1.3 and we hit that and we'll have a look and see what the, how this one sounds now it'll probably be a little too fast now but let's have a listen hey guys Henry here from product creation formula in this video we're speaking about how to edit PLR see how that's way too fast now so to change that back all I have to do is go to there and just highlight over the top of those ones go to there and make that 1.1 and then hit enter and that should by rights now be at the speed we want it to be so let's have a quick look hey guys Henry here from product creation formula in this video we're speaking about how to edit PLR and that is how we can now adjust it so as it becomes a speed that sounds far more natural I hadn't done that I hadn't learnt that by the time I created that previous video but now that I know it it's going to be happening in all the videos that I use when I use this now I use this on my other channel which is called freedom formula and I now use this primarily as my freedom formula audio so I now speed it up and I now do that and I format it. It doesn't take long and I can create a five minute video, five, 10 minute video in about an hour using this software. So it's pretty good. Well, the next one we're looking at is Pictory. Now you've probably seen me do ones on Pictory before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly take you through with what I did. What I did was I went here to upload voiceover. I clicked on that. And that gave me the opportunity to then click on the upload. So what I did was I used this for the entire video. You see here, how to edit PLR eBooks and articles. I clicked that for the entire video once I uploaded it. And that then placed that straight into here. What I also then did was I went over to visuals. And then I went over to my uploads. Well, this is where I uploaded a few of my own images. I did one for Coolbot, Munchai, Clickbank, as well as JVZoo, and I also had this one right here, which is from me just waving, and a few other ones that I've got just here as well. And by doing that, I was able to create this entire video using this one. And it was that means it is 100% created with AI. That's not including downloading or creating these images. Now to create these images, all I did was I just went over to the actual site itself. And then from there, I went and grabbed the snipping tool, which is usually supplied by our wonderful friends at Microsoft Office. So all I have to do is just grab that area just there, highlight over the top, grab it to that, and then add that to it and what I did what I also did here was when I got to this one here I'll go find that particular one look give me one second while I go find Clickbank I'll be pausing the video until then I've got JVZoo here when I came through it came up as a I'm just going to show you what I did I'm going to visual zoom and pan I'll take that one off and this is how it came up it had these two little black lines there now, if I want to have this looking like it's moving and looking like it's part of it, all I have to do is go over here to the settings section, go to visual pan and zoom, 
And what that does is when you hit play, it will play it through and it will scroll this across the screen. Let's have a look at this one second. You can use marketplaces like Clickbank, Warrior Plus, or even JVZoo. So as you can see, it then turned that over and allowed me to be able to have that so as it went across and just scrolled across the screen. So guys, that is how I created that video 100% using AI. Alright guys, now it is joke time. A thief had gone to court and was facing the magistrate. He said to the magistrate, My lord, I need time to better prove my innocence. The magistrate looked at him and he said, Very well, I'll give you some time. I'll give you one year in prison. <laughs> Alright guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these softwares. Now, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And if you go over here, you'll be able to see an icon. If you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so, so much for watching and bye for now.